I'm certainly not uh, surprised that this um, uh, observation has been made and that these kind of uh, criminal acts have been taking place and certainly many Syrian officials should be indicted uh, and face the charges that they deserve to be facing. The situation in Syria continues to deteriorate because the truth of the matter is that those nations, specifically the United States, the EU, Turkey, and some of the Arab states who could help the situation haven't done enough and it seems to me are not prepared to do much more at this juncture to bring an end to the Assad regime. You know, we have been talking so much about the imposition of no-fly zone. We've been talking about the need to supply the rebels with such weapon in order for them to be able to shoot down uh, helicopters and airplanes that have been um, bombing places indiscriminately and killing thousands and thousands of people. That hasn't changed. That is what's going to take. And hence, to suggest that this to leave it completely to the rebels or to the Syrian government to sort out their differences or their animosity and hatred to one another, that's not going to produce a, a solution. And something from the outside, that is outside interference, has to take place already. And mind you, Russia is supplying the government with more weapons. Iran is supplying uh, the government with weapons, weapons and personnel and advisors. So outside interference is already taking place. The United States should no longer wait for a United Nations Security Council resolution to give it the right or the um, uh, opportunity to, to interfere if that is going to bring an end to the slaughter in Syria. To me, uh, this is almost laughable, and i tell you why. If you look at the various countries involved, there is no love lost between Egypt and Iran, and there's no love lost between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Turkey and Saudi Arabia may see eye to eye, but certainly Iran doesn't see eye to eye with any of the other three. So, yes, all three have interest in ending the conflict, but Iran in particular has no interest in ending the conflict in any way that will infringe or under undermine its influence in Syria. What one of such uh, uh, an end is to keep the Bashar Assad regime in place. But however, we know that sooner or later that government will fall. But even under such a circumstance, Iran wants to secure its presence or its influence in Damascus and certainly beyond Bashar Assad fall. So meeting between these four um, states, representatives of these four states, will not produce any kind of a solution because inherently the right solution that would require the removal of Bashar Assad, that would require some kind of an election in Syria and the formation of a new government that is simply and completely inconsistent with what Iran would like to, to, to achieve.